Hey guys, Dylan from the Geek Door here, and today I'll be bringing you my reaction to The Umbrella Academy Season 4, Episode 2, titled Gene and Gene. With their powers restored, the gang embarks on a mission to find Cy Grossman's daughter, but they soon encounter hostility in a seemingly quaint town. Okay, so this is... I wonder how this one's going to pick up, because... At the end of the last episode, Ben essentially roofied them all into getting their powers back after Sai gave them a canister of um, marigold. And Ben also double dipped. So, don't know what that could mean. Um, but yeah, I wonder... How long it's going to take for them to get their powers back? Is it going to be a staggered thing over the next days? And then they meet up. Like, it starts with a montage of the staggered. Hmm. And how are they going to feel knowing that Ben did this to them? Against most of their wishes. That Yep, we'll find out in three, two, one, go. Well, he's got more of an audience this time than he did last time. How does having Marigold give him his um agility back? It it is a montage of That's some weird writing. Why is your thing now purple? This... How did... Um, how does it give him his monkey body back?
Who'd you copy that off of? Okay, I'm guessing that means some of them got different powers. <laughs> yeah. Why is it so fleshy? Okay, now we can ink. Question. Does that guy that he threw it on now... Now, does he now have powers? Not the duck. Out of all of them, um, fair. That's fair.
Close your robe, Luther. Oh, he's back to having to ride in the boot. I don't trust that van that was at the front. Not after the milkman in season two. <laughs> I knew that was coming. I was expecting it to cut to them stopped at a um, highway gas station to use the toilet. I mean, they do have two young kids. Oh god. Oh, that will be torture. Oh, oh I feel so bad for them. <laughs> uh.
You should have just pulled over. <laughs> he really is a dad. <laughs> Well, at least it killed the radio. <laughs> Four, five. It really is a small town if it only got 515. I didn't notice he got his um no no he didn't Why did he name his van Wanda?
So who's going to be the first to encounter cup? Conflict. <laughs> of course, Ben's a carrot. Wasn't even just conflict, that was just Ben being Ben. <laughs> Yeah, what, what did happen with Ray? I would say that weird, but having been to a small a couple of towns in Alaska, they said the exact same thing when you walked in. <laughs> He's loving having his abilities back. You want one, Diego? Are you meant to pull them off the top? I thought it was a you lay them out and pick them. Klaus is going to be the first one to have trouble, isn't he? Or are you going to...
Of course it was Sparrow Bit. <laughs> he does. I mean, yeah, that is a little manipulative, but small business, you've got to work with what you got. She was happy to sit there until she brought up Jennifer. Then she decided to leave, huh? Oh, well, that's just got creepy. Uh... 
This nifty old lady. Oh. I'm sure now you. Hmm. So it seems those that got new powers aren't exactly reliable. I'm going to want to listen to that, aren't I? You really think now's the time for a train ride? Hey, got them back in. <clears throat> Why do I get the feeling that she's Jennifer? But no, the race since she was six doesn't work. You're right back where you started. Okay. And unlike in yours, they had a train station? <laughs> oh, he's doing the bullet thing. Oh. 
Oh, yeah, they do work. <laughs> Start the truck. What about the boys in Alice? Oh. Okay. I was expecting this to be a... So is... Reginald working with the... Um... What was the name again? The, um... Jean and Jean and their cult. She's still got the voiceless one. Oh, not Santa. Why did all of them get new powers except for Luther? And technically Diego has the same. <laughs> Don't run over Santa! <laughs> So, if that is Jennifer, how...
<laughs> Plus, technically, you didn't drink it, so... Oh. What was that between Ben and Jennifer? Well, no point in not coming clean to Diego now. Oh, well, that was that was a weird fucking episode. <laughs> Well, for one, I was sort of correct in that it would be a staggered, each of them getting their powers in like a little montage at the start, and of course only Diego was really happy about it. I was a little upset we didn't get to see Lila awakening her laser eyes or um, Victor awakening his fire powers. But so Victor still works somewhat the same, but with a more elemental tint to it. Because remember, um, Harlan, when he took in some of the marigold from Victor, he got an elemental version for ice. So it would make sense that the next stage in Victor's would be fire or some other element. Um, I don't get what the correlation between copying powers and laser eyes is. Don't really get that. Unless... Now hear me out. Because this is a multiversal variant of the Marigold... Is it possible that they got their multiverse's counterparts' powers? So, like, the version of these characters from the universe that the Marigold came from, that Lila would have had laser eyes. That Ben would have had tentacle powers still, because Ben seems to always have tentacle powers. That version of Allison had the voiceless rumour. And so on and so forth. Like, how did... How did Alison realise she had her powers back? Did she accidentally rumour someone? Because... 
A voiceless rumour is real bad because if you've got a stray thought, could that influence someone? Like, you know when someone cuts you off on the road and you've got that momentary flash of road rage? Like, could that transfer? Or does she have... I mean, for her to have activated it the first time, it would have had to have been accidental, so... Hmm. How... How did the Marigold give Luther his monkey body back? Like, because before number one went on that mission all those years and timelines back he was just a regular person and it was because of the um, infusion from Pogo's blood that turned him into the monkey man so how does just having Marigold turn him into that unless similarly the version of Luther from the timeline with this Marigold just mutated because of it into the form that we knew him as. Um, I just, I just got sidetracked because I remember Victor just absolutely annihilating that old lady on the scooter. <laughs> Set her flying. And, well, Five seems to be able to teleport to a, um, hub of timelines. So that, and just, he'll need to board a train to be able to jump between them. That does mean that simultaneous multiple timelines are happening. Like, we initially thought that well, at least I initially thought that. You have one timeline. You go back, you change the past, branches in a new direction. It's that version of time travel. They then jump forward from that branch timeline, which, well, technically, alternate timeline, jump back another alternate timeline, go to the future of that one, that's season three with the sparrows and everything, then... That all gets destroyed, so they reset everything, but not completely. And they end up in this timeline. Is it the fact that it was reset wrong? That there are multiple happening at the same time? Or was there always multiple happening at the same time? Hmm... So, what was that between Jennifer and Ben? They definitely share some intrinsic cosmic connection. Because he just happened to be walking down the right street that had the bus stop at the front of the diner. He just... She just happened to sit at that um window and feel compelled to invite him back in. He just, she just, for some reason, trusted him over her uncle, well, step-uncle, who apparently has raised her since she was six, and, like, like he's the sheriff of the town, and he's come up and be like, hey, stay away from this guy, we're trying to protect you. And all of that. Yet, she just decides to follow Ben, who has sprouted a whole bunch of tentacles from his back, which isn't normal in this world. And then there was the thing where their hands touched in the um, van, and it sort of looked like he transferred power over to her, yet... She was already... Her hand was already glowing before they made contact. 
There's also the fact that I was... So what I'm guessing... And this could be wild out there. Sai was working with Gene and Gene. They were getting nowhere in finding the catalyst of this reckoning or what did they call it? The cleanse. That's what it is. So they send someone to go get the Umbrella Academy to then find this girl. This girl who's being protected by Hargreaves for some reason. And yes, yeah, so hmm. What what is going on? Why was Hargreaves there? Why did he send a kill order for his fe his well counterparts' kids? Like. Did he always have it in place that if these people showed up to shoot on site, or did he somehow know that the keepers sent a proxy to send them as a proxy to get this girl out of the town, and that was to protect her from the keepers? Hmm. A lot to think about. But, unfortunately, I don't have any more time to talk this episode because I've got things I need to do today. So, I'll catch you in the next one.